YouTube, it's me, Nezrak, and today we're going to change a CMOS battery on a compact Rosario C500. Uh, you've seen me work on cars, but I am getting into working on computers. Never actually cracked one open, didn't really do too much research on this, just kind of looked and I'm trying. So if it takes a little bit longer, it's because I'm figuring out as I go. Hope you guys enjoy this video. track of time and uh, if the battery dies this battery's shot anyway make sure I say that first off battery's dead it's been in there since 2006 so um sorry I had my earphones in anyway what we're gonna do is replace the CMOS battery uh, that should mitigate the issue uh, if it doesn't that means that we may have a virus so hopefully this does fix everything but first take out your battery flip your uh, C500 back over. Ugh. Push the power button to make sure that you discharge the battery completely. So if this doesn't work, I have to go through another MDR uh, repair. Uh, but it was doing that anytime the battery had died. So who cares? Uh, it works this way. It'll keep time again, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I got this from Route 66 in 2010 for free 99. Uh, screwdriver set, board screwdriver set, but it comes in handy because it works for stuff like this. Uh, I got these paper towels laid out, laid out, laid out, <laughs> laid out, <laughs> uh, just because it makes it easy to keep track of everything. Usually when you remove cases like this, what I prefer to do is leave the screws in there and set the whole case aside, so it's kind of hard for them to roll away when they're still in their case, yeah. So. That comes right off. Oh, it's the hard drive. Yay. This isn't like they said on the internet. Anyway, let's see what happens if we remove that bad boy. Looks like it pushes forward. I've never done this before, YouTube, so we're learning together. Um, all the tips and tricks that they tell you, holy shit, are you kidding me? Okay, this is obviously not the same compact. Oh, this is kind of interesting. This is my hard drive. I'm not sure how large it is either, but you know what? Now that I see it, I would love to replace this thing. 80 gigabytes. Seriously? There's SD cards larger than that. So yeah, that's going to get replaced. Anyway, that was a terrible failure. And yeah, well... I guess this is just a failed video. Okay, so that wasn't a complete failure. I decided, hell, I have a screwdriver. I have a paper towel. Let's just keep taking it apart. So anyway, under this area right here, there's a, I wanna say that's a wireless card. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a wireless card. It has a little yellow tape on it, two little screwdrivers, so be careful. But under that is our prize. Yay. Oh. No, no, there is a screw in there. Okay, there's the screw. Okay, so we're going to move this out the way, hopefully, without it flying back in the way. As a matter of fact, there's a piece of tape right there. We're going to use that to kind of help us keep this out the way temporarily. Okay, maybe not. This thing is just really feisty, and I'm really scared of losing that screw. Okay, there's our CMOS. So, this very... Simply and gently pry that bad boy out. Try to figure out where uh, it's going to be least resistant to coming out. Ah, shit. Everything wants to get eaten by this laptop. So, CMOS battery's out. Compare it to our new battery right here. That battery has a 70 on the back of it. Oh, wow. They're identical. 
identical. Identical. So, ah, shit. I'm telling you, everything wants to fall inside of this computer, which is really bad. Oh, and there's a screw there. Okay, it's still there. Okay, so push it back of the way in, and we are golden. Now, this went from a failed video to a good video, so, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, so, all I have to do is fish out that screwdriver, or screw, and these aren't magnetic, I don't think. Oh, they are. Yay! So we have our screw. I'm going to put that over there in the battery tray. Get ready to replace our... I think this is a wireless card. We'll find out. Oh, God. Okay, once I maneuver that back into place, I'll put down the, I'm gonna put down the camera, move that back into place, and then bring you guys back. If I'm stuttering and all that crap, it's because I have my earphones in. Just so you guys see I'm not full of shit. The mic at, so you guys can hear it. I don't know where the mic is on this thing, but yeah, trust me, I have earphones on. So, I'm not a babbling buffoon. I have music in my ear. <laughs> okay, YouTube, so that bad boy's back in there. Uh, pretty much you just push the board in, make sure it seats all the way, push those down. If those don't start screwing in, and you still see a little bit of a uh, copper up here, it means you need to push it down more. But that was pretty much it. So we're going to toss the battery back in. Well, actually, we're going to wait and cover this first. Yeah, there's that case deal I was telling you about. Uh, one of the screws stays in there. The other screw stays right there. That's already bolted back in. So we're going to pop this bad boy back in. Back home. Uh, yay. And that's why I like having screws there in their places. You don't have to worry about losing them. Okay, hold on, zoom out. There we go. And screw it back in there. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that we're still going to have to go through an MDR repair. But the key thing is to, after we go through that, kill the battery, let that thing die completely out, and then see if the CMOS uh, corrected the mistake. So, now we're going to go plug this in and start her up. Okay, YouTube, so that bad boy's back in there. Uh, pretty much you just push the board in, make sure it seats all the way, push those down. If those don't start screwing in, and you still see a little bit of a copper up here, it means you need to push it down more. But that was pretty much it. So we're going to toss the battery back in. Well, actually, we're going to wait and cover this first. Yeah, there's that case deal I was telling you about. Uh, one of the screws stays in there. The other screw stays right there. That's already bolted back in. So we're going to pop this bad boy back in. Back home. Uh, yeah. And that's why I like having screws there in their places. You don't have to worry about losing them. And screw it back in there. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that we're still going to have to go through an MDR repair. But the key thing is to, after we go through that, kill the battery, let that thing die completely out, and then see if the CMOS uh, corrected the mistake. So, now we're going to go plug this in and start her up. Okay, so I just powered it on and I got this weird... Uh, screen that I've never seen before. Um, it says that the mouse initialization or mouse initialized error, uh, check date and time settings, blah 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 blah. Uh, system CMOS checks some bad default configuration used. Press F1 to resume, press F10 to set up. We're gonna go to F10 and check the setup real quick. And the time is definitely wrong, so now I need to go grab my damn cell phone. Yay! Be back. Okay, so we're in the BIOS setup right now. Um, I just set the date and time. It was set to 2006 to give you an idea of how old this computer really is. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of this other stuff because it's really completely uh, pointless to go through here and change everything when it's probably going to end up getting corrected anyway. Exit saving changes. Yes. So now let's see if we have to go through a master boot repair. Uh oh, looks like we might not have to do an MBR. That weird crap, I don't know what that is. Registry, machine components. Okay YouTube, so this is an update video for the CMOS battery change. I'm actually editing the uh, video right now. So you can kind of see it right there. You can see my red light from my camera. 
Hey, you see my light like my camera right there. Ah, oh, it's funny. Anyway, um, so everything went well after uh, this last bit, and the last thing I wanted to add to this video was uh, I used to have issues with my antivirus. I have Norton on my computer, and my antivirus would completely block the internet if I left the the computer on open and just you know working in the internet on if I left a, a window open on my Firefox. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. Now I can just leave it on and since the time's actually keeping up, uh, my Norton doesn't, you know, go do its its web update and then flip out because my clock is wrong. So, uh, I wanted to give you guys that update because it, it did matter because then I have to restart my computer. Once I finally restarted the computer, I could get back on the internet. Now, prior to that, uh, being fixed before, before I changed the battery, that wouldn't happen. Um, I just be blocked. So now it's like everything's working perfect. And other apps on my computer that were screwing up aren't screwing up. My Netflix was screwing up. Uh, what else? I was kind of having problems logging into different uh, websites on my computer, and it was all because my CMOS battery just wasn't right. So it was like uh, <laughs> I fixed a lot of pro lot more problems than what I thought by changing the CMOS battery. Anyway, I just figured I'd give you guys a final update because I know some p people are going to ask questions in the comment section. Uh, I hope that answers any questions. If you guys have any more questions, leave a comment. Uh, this is Nezrak. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Peace.